We continue to follow a developing story from Capitol Hill with local ties. The Senate confirmation hearing for Harris County Sheriff Ed Gonzalez began today. He was nominated by the president to head Immigration and Customs Enforcement. KPRC 2's Keith Garvin joining us now live from the newsroom with a look at how that hearing went today. Keith. Andy, as with so many hearings on Capitol Hill, today was as much if not more about the politics rather than the specific nominee. Sheriff Gonzalez was part of a joint hearing that lasted just over two hours and he received some tough questions. I am honored to appear before you to discuss my nomination to lead U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement ICE. Harris County Sheriff Ed Gonzalez center stage in the nation's capital today for the committee hearing considering his nomination to be the Assistant Secretary for Immigration and Customs Enforcement, the official title for Director of ICE. Harris is a difficult and often thankless job, but leading such a team would be the honor of a lifetime. If confirmed, Gonzalez would be the first Senate-confirmed ICE director in four years. It is a job with broad responsibilities from border enforcement to dealing with drug trafficking and human trafficking, all issues facing whoever is appointed. Senators pressed Gonzalez about the potential for gangs to use teenagers to smuggle drugs across the southern border with Mexico. Isn't that your experience as Houston's sheriff? I'm always mindful of not profiling and, and developing any stereotypes in my work, so I try to look at the facts. That's, that's, not, that's not profiling. No, uh, but I'm saying at the end of the day, they're still teenagers. I know that if they're coming into our country, they're processed through CBP. There's different screenings that are done. Gonzalez would lead a team of 20,000 agents and employees stretched perhaps like never before with the current southern border crisis. The sheriff says his experience with immigration as head of the nation's third largest sheriff's office makes him an ideal candidate. I would use that experience, uh, if confirmed, to be ICE director, to come in, listen, to try to understand the work, understand uh, what's working and where we could make things better. I spoke to Precinct 2 County Commissioner Adrian Garcia, former Harris County Sheriff himself, who would play a major role in appointing the replacement for Gonzalez should he be confirmed. He said right now Gonzalez still has the job as sheriff and it's too early to speculate about any possible replacement. He said they would start the process to find a replacement soon after a start date for Gonzalez would be proposed if he does indeed get confirmed. Live in the newsroom, Keith Garvin, KPRC 2 News.